Hi guys, as you already know about the JBL speakers, which are capable of producing high sound quality. And today, I would like to show you how you can integrate the theory in your JBL speaker. Okay, so first, what you need to do is to connect your JBL speaker with your smart device. It can be your iPhone or your iPad. Okay, so it's connected. And then you need to go to the App Store in order to download the JBL Connect app. Okay, so now let's launch the application. And then when you launch your application first, you need to choose your model. So in this video, my model is the JBL Extreme. Okay, now my JBL is there. So you need to click on the exclamation mark up there on the speaker and please read this message carefully otherwise your JBL is in danger. Software upgrade available, plug the speaker into a power source to continue. Has made it upgrade time 15 minutes. Okay, so for this point, in reality, it takes around 15 minutes to 17 minutes. So if you agree to update your JBL speaker, make sure that you do not do anything while it is on its process. Otherwise, I don't guarantee on the lose of your JBL. Okay, so when it is done, you will get another message, transfer successful. The speaker will automatically restart and be detected by the app when the upgrade is complete. Do not unplug the speaker until it has restarted. To see the upgrade status, make sure the speaker reconnect while Bluetooth after restarting. So in this point, you need to wait around 2 to 3 minutes by doing that thing with your speaker. Otherwise, your speaker won't come back. Okay? So like in this video, I wait my speaker to come back on the screen of the app. So just wait a few minutes and it will automatically reconnect to your smartphone and the app also uh, detect the speaker. Okay, so now I got it. You will get another message, upgrade successful. Your speaker now is up to date. Click OK. Okay, so here is what I'm talking about. How to integrate the wire assistant or Siri in your JBL speaker. By changing the function of the play and pause button. So as can be seen from this, you can see that there are two functions with the play and pause. You can switch between play and pause or Roy assistant. And Roy assistant here stands for Siri. So let me choose the Roy assistant and let me launch the Siri from my JBL speaker. Here it is. I just click the play and pause button one time. The Siri launch automatically. This is how Siri works with the JBL speaker. Okay, so let me try one more time. So it's nice, you can also interact with the Siri. You can ask anything with Siri, right? And also you don't like the play and pause button to be the Siri because with Siri, you need to connect the internet connection most of the time. So you can change it back if you don't like. Okay, that's it everybody. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know with the comment down below. Thank you.